In half a mile, take the best street exit. I guess this is the best way to go. It's your Uncle Heavy, and oh my gosh, I feel like I haven't done a vlog in like a year. I know it's only been like three weeks, but anyway, I'm back out on the road doing some more adventures. Today, I'm on location in downtown Buffalo. This behind me is the Museum of Science in Buffalo. I haven't really been here in about 10 years, so it's gonna be kind of a new experience for me to go in and see it. So, I'm bringing you all along. We're gonna check it out. It's a nice, balmy 25 degree day here in Buffalo. So it's a good day to go inside and have an indoor adventure. So, already got my tickets. Let's go see what kind of trouble we can get into. Do come along. <laughs> I can't help but point out the architecture of this building as I go to enter it. I just love, I mean, if you ask what does a museum look like, th this is what a museum should look like. There's even an observatory up there that unfortunately is not open right now due to the situation. Someday we'll have to come back here and take a look at the stars from up there. And for all my friends not in the area, it gives you a nice idea of what it's looking like these days. And this is actually, for this time of year, is not a heck of a lot of snow. I believe we've got actually four floors open today, given the situation. So I'm pretty excited about being here today. All right, let's check this place out. Right off the bat, I'm greeted by an Albertosaurus. This one lived about 70 million years ago, and it's pretty much a perfect specimen. Here we get a nice up above view of that specimen from before. Rawr. I love how they're getting in the spirit of things here. Our resident moose has got his face covered, as does Stuffy, the resident bison. They give you a nice fresh stylus for you to use for any of the interactive exhibits. I really like this new thing that they're doing in museums. It's, you can see that any other exhibit that requires touching does have hand sanitizer very close by for you to use before and after. Here's a demonstration on force. We get to pump up the... Doesn't like like it wants to go past 20 PSI. Here we go. Wow. Pretty impressive. I guess we have to start our adventures up there, so let's head on up. Wow. Very cool. Now, just stepping in here, this is known as Goodyear Hole, and I mean, does this just not scream museum? Look at the architecture. Look at that exhibit right in the middle. I love it. This is an American Mastodon. It is an Ice Age mammal from North America. It's kind of similar to a, a mammoth, but not quite. And they're not entirely sure whether or not the Mastodon had fur like the mammoth because there were no preserved Mastodons ever found. So researchers kind of assume that no, they were skin like an elephant. By the way, the Mastodon's name is Seymour. Hi, Seymour. I do not know what this is a skull of, but oh my gosh, that's pretty scary. They have quite a bit of dinosaur specimens on display here. I'm pretty impressed. And of course, everybody can totally recognize the Triceratops. Pretty familiar, pretty familiar dinosaur. This kind of shows the excavation process. Now these are actual zebra mussels. Now, if you recall, when we did the visitation of the Lockport Locks, there was quite a bit of zebra mussels 
invading the walls of the lock and damaging the concrete. So this is kind of what they look like up close. Here's a bit of a display on extinction. They have a, a model of the dodo bird. Wart, warthog, wart, warthog. These are some of the taxidermy specimens they have. This is an anteater. I don't think I've ever seen an anteater before. Sloth. I don't know what it is, but I absolutely love the ears. So now, interesting thing I just learned after my visit to the aquarium, I kept calling there, it was actually the sea lion exhibit. I kept calling it the seal exhibit and they were actually sea lions. So I guess I have to make a retraction or a correction to that. But yes, this is a sea lion and not a seal. Now look at the baby zebra and the baby giraffe. How oh, very cute. Yeah. Of course, you can't come to Buffalo and not visit some American bison. Nice display of some dishware and plateware ranging from the 19th century to the early 20th century. Here's an interesting piece. It, it dates back from somewhere between 6,000 to 2,000 BC. There's a kneeling archer here. It, it's a model of one of the terracotta warriors from China. This is an interesting model of a human being as a factory. I'm gonna... Sort of like a clockwork rendition. There's the heart. The stomach. So it's sort of like the human body needs model railroading. Hmm. Interesting and yet kind of spooky. This is kind of interesting. It's kind of practicing uh, robotic surgery. I think I'll give it a shot. That's quite difficult, actually. I have a little bit of a simulator where you grab onto these contacts and get your heart beating. kind of cool they normally have these little workshops open up where you can really go in and get your hands on but eh, given the situation it's probably better that they're closed so this is called in motion and it deals with the kinetics of things moving we have a kind of like Rube Goldberg machine going on right here. So this is kind of interesting. You, you gotta operate this crane, but you gotta do it with a stylus, so it's a little bit difficult to do. All right, that moves that back and forth. Trying to do this and film at the same time. 
tricky. hooked and it got left in. Can move it way over there. I think I could I think I could be pretty good at this. And then drag it back. Bam, look at that. Let's even move it a little bit this way. This kid's good, I'm telling you. Looks like this thing measures my gait of stepping, and I get to watch it afterwards. And, yeah, that's me walking with my camera. Huh. Yeah. That's uh, that's me. Well, this is cool. This is kind of showing my my aerodynamic efficiency. Currently, I'm about 70% aerodynamic. Maybe if I curl up like this. Oh, I got a E3. Not bad. E. These do appear to be specimens of actual butterfly. Now this is called bug works. Eesh. Don't think I'm going to be spending too much time in here. Now this is an actual yellow jacket's nest that was pulled from a home in Angola, New York. Here's, here's my hand for scale. Ugh. Ugh. It is a bit fascinating though, the way the honeycombs are built up inside there. Walking through the tunnel of insects here. Mm -hmm. This is kind of interesting. It's, it's sort of like a, a relief map of Niagara Falls and, and this kind of goes in the place of some of my other vlogs. You could see right here, right about here is actually Goat Island where I do most of my filming. And this would be the Canadian Horseshoe and the American Falls are right here. So here's a grand scheme of things. The Lake Ontario, Lake Erie. But yeah, this is, uh, this is where I do most of my filming here. Kind of fascinating. Nice little model of air. Could do a tornado. This is, this is tornado strength winds. This is 79 miles an hour, it's kind of hard to see. Now once upon a time, you used to actually be able to crawl inside there and experience it. Not anymore. It was, a, it was a pretty cool thing to do. Hi everyone, I'm Dave and today's Storm Team Weather Report. Hold on your hats today as a low and high pressure system creates gusty winds that will whip across western New York. Forecast shows some cold temperatures and sunshine, but wind chills today will make it feel even colder than that.
buffalo in space. This is interesting display. It gives you a chance to replace the moon over the skyline of buffalo to see other plants, what they would look like. Mercury, Venus, wow, that'd be kind of cool. Our own planet in our own solar sky. Mars. This would be impressive. Jupiter. <laughs> yeah, Jupiter's. Jupiter would be huge in our atmosphere. This would be kind of cool. Saturn with its rings. Be able to see its rings. Uranus. And Neptune. Very cool. Very interesting. I like the take on the Buffalo skyline. This is interesting. It's a scale that weighs you. It tells you what your weight would be on another planet. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and skip this one. Hmm. This is very, very cool. There's a an orbiting moon and it kind of shows how reflection from the sun affects what we see on Earth. Oh, and there's me in the mirror. So this is kind of a simulation of orbital paths. So we're going to give this a try. Those represent gravity wells. <laughs> of course, you just can't resist. Remember when these were really, really big in the in the late '90s? All right, looks like uh, we can go up to the observatory here. I think it's currently closed for actually the weather more than what's going on, but the sky platform is kind of nice. Gives us a nice clear shot of the 33 heading downtown to Buffalo. Well, it does say the observatory is actually open nightly on Wednesday nights till 11 p.m. by reservation only. Cool. Well, from up here, it also gives me a nice clear shot of downtown skyline. That's, that's a pretty impressive shot right there. I think we've just about covered everything. I do always love these pendulum demonstrations that actually are affected by the, the changing of the earth underneath it. Let's see, it goes all the way up there. And here's the ground floor of that pendulum again. Very interesting. I think that's going to basically do it for the Buffalo Museum of Science. Had a really blast here today. Enjoyed it. It was as good as I remembered. So I'm going to have to go back and check out that observatory on the top. Maybe when the world opens back up again. Okay, I'm definitely, definitely going to have to come back for this exhibit. For sure. Well, that's going to do it for this vlog. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I really enjoyed making it. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up down below and tell your friends. Share the video. If you're new to my channel, check out some of my other vlogs. If you like them, consider subscribing. Make sure you hit that bell to be notified of any future vlogs I put up. Till next time, signing off from Buffalo, New York. Bye bye.